Hey, my name's James Nicholson. The Central Bank, the Federal Reserve, have just had their latest meeting in America on interest rates. Now, why is that important for us as UK investors? What is that going to mean for our interest rate meeting tomorrow? I've got that covered and more, and we're going to go through that in this video. Now, let me just tell you, I really appreciate everyone that subscribes to this channel. Yesterday, we had record numbers, 700 people subscribed, which is absolutely bonkers. If you haven't subscribed already, smash that subscribe button over there, hit the bell notification, it will turn blue, it will make you feel good. And while you're there, smash the like button, tickle the like button, just do something to the like button over there, guys. That really helps us with the YouTube algorithm. We did 400,000 views in October. We want to beat that if we can. That's a big ask because we used to do 100,000 views. Let's see if we can beat that this month. So every person that likes this video, they will help us get there. So let's talk about the Federal Reserve. And why does that matter for us? Because we're not in America. We're in the UK. Well, what happens is there's a term that's very common, which is called follow the Fed. And that's what the Bank of England do. And so the reason for that is because our interest rate needs to be fairly close to theirs, otherwise the pound will be worth less money. Now, if the pound's worth less money, that is gonna be a core problem for inflation because we import more than we export on our tiny little island. And so that is a big concern for us. And so America, while it's so far away, we are intertwined with their economy. Now, good news is, they've just held their interest rate again. Now, their interest rate's a bit weird. We have a, an interest rate that's the interest rate, but they have a range. And so their range at the moment is 5.25 to 5.5%. They've held that, they've held that again. They've already held that previously. This is a strong indication that the Bank of England tomorrow will hold interest rates, which is very, very important. So what are they talking about in America? What's important to them? Well, the problem that they've got is their economy is actually doing pretty well. GDP, gross domestic productivity, has done really well. They had a really shocking number uh, in the last quarter that was close to 5%, um, which is really good for Biden coming up to an election. Uh, and that is a problem. You see, inflation is still high in America. So how high is inflation? Well, it's way better than ours, but they're sitting at 3.4% with their inflation, and they're not happy with that. We're at 6.7%, a long way off, nearly double what these guys are at. And so we're not happy with that either. But American inflation seems to be way more under control than us. However, it just shows that even when it's at 3%, they're still going to be talking about interest rates. And that could happen to us for some time. So we really want their interest rates to go down because that's when ours may start to do the same. Remember, we follow the Fed. So what else is going on? Well, they've got record uh, jobs being created. So under Biden, whether you like Biden or Trump is irrelevant. This is just what's happening over there at the moment. Jobs uh, are really, really booming over there. And this is a problem for the Federal Reserve. You see, what they want to do more is get rid of this inflation. And so how they do that, same as what they do in the UK, is they turn up the interest rates. That should stop demand. Uh, and eventually, people will start to spend less and you'll get closer. The GDP figures will drop. You'll get closer to a recession. Less people will get jobs. Uh, and so you want to try and balance this so you don't cause a severe recession. You don't cause millions of people to become unemployed. So it's a fine act. And so this is what the Americans are trying to do. It's what the Bank of England is trying to do tomorrow in their meeting as well. But this indicates to us that we potentially will have interest rates held in our meeting. Now, what else are they saying? This is interesting. Well, they're saying that interest rate rises are not off the table at all, uh, but they're gonna say that anyway. Uh, of course, they're gonna say that. They're not gonna say, look, this is the top, interest rates are sticking and we're gonna drop them next month, because then it wouldn't be very effective what they're doing at the moment. It's the same as the UK, this interest rate level in America is constraining, it's stopping 
uh, certain people growing uh, and so that's what they want to see. However, same problem we have in the UK, right? And so one of the biggest costs that's been like risen recently from uh, interest rates going up is rent. And so what's happening is interest rates are being uh, risen, are going up by landlords. Um, and that means that that's getting passed on to tenants and their rents are going up higher than the rate of inflation at the moment. It's one of the worst things out there. And that's a bigger problem because the rent that you pay is one of the biggest costs that you have on a monthly basis. And I'd argue that your rent is actually more than your food and your energy costs uh, on a monthly basis. So what will happen is those rental increases will be there to stay. And so I really hope that they start looking at these sorts of figures. And, and of course, they understand more than I do on this. But I'm looking at it saying, look, you keep pushing rents up, you keep pushing landlords out the market, then rents are going to get higher and people are going to struggle even more, which is effectively going to keep your inflation higher for longer. But this is a key sign anyway. It was an important meeting today. It's interesting to see just what is happening uh, in other countries. And we are so intertwined with the Americans, as I said, um, this is a positive sign for tomorrow's meeting. So what do you guys think is going to happen in the Bank of England meeting? I will be doing a video within an hour or two of that meeting happening. Uh, what normally happens is the Bank of England do the meeting. Then there's a press conference, which you won't see on the news, but you can find it live on YouTube. Uh, and that will uh, be about an hour. So I like to listen to that and really see what they're talking about in that and then dissect it all and give you guys that content uh, so we can see what's going on in that. It's interesting times. Let me know your thoughts and comments below. Do smash the like button, guys. That really helps with YouTube. Subscribe, hit the bell, and it's time to go and check out some more content. So go and check out this video right here.